Holmes right now from Troops Out Now Coalition. Sisters and brothers, we should congratulate Recreate 68 again. When they decided to call themselves Recreate 68, they didn't have in their imagination that they would recreate the events of Chicago 68. But they did have in their mind the necessity the necessity to recreate the spirit of struggle, the spirit of militancy. And because they dared to do that, everybody tried to shut them down. The police tried to shut them down. We're not going to give you any permits. The media violence baited them. Democratic Party hats. Even people who can think of progressive, oh no, we've got to isolate them, we've got to marginalize them. But here they are today, and the fact that we're here today at this huge rally against occupation is our first big victory of the week. I believe that Recreate 68 and what they wanted to accomplish will be vindicated. Why do we need to recreate a struggle? It's almost three years, next week, three years since Katrina genocide. There's still no justice for the survivors of Katrina. Somebody better recreate some struggle. We've got two wars going on and maybe another one against Iran soon. We got a new political prisoner. Some of you may know about him. A soldier by the name of Robin Long, extradited from Canada, court martialed just a few days ago, given almost two years with a dishonorable discharge. He's a political prisoner. He's our anti-war hero. When things like this happening, somebody better recreate some struggle. Immigrant sisters and brothers are being rounded up by the thousands, dragged out like slaves, dragged out of plants and factories, out of their home, thrown in prison. Some of them are dying in prison for lack of medical attention, deported. Some of them are being beaten to death, lynched. Somebody better recreate some struggle. Somebody better recreate some militancy, some unity. We've got a capitalist economy that's going down so bad that it's probably never been worse since the Great Depression. People are losing their homes. They're losing their jobs. Students are losing their student loans. After the election, the whole country's gonna get hit by Billions and billions of dollars of budget cuts, whatever's left of health care, whatever's left of education, of a social uh, security net, that's going. Somebody better create, recreate some struggle. You know, I'm supporting Cynthia McKinney for president. How many people heard of Cynthia McKinney? She's here. I support her because she's a warrior for justice and truth. We're getting her on as many states as possible. But I also support her because it's not just about what's before the election. It's about what comes after the election. All these things that we're talking about. Endless war, attack on the workers, attack on immigrants, racism against people of color, prison industrial complex. They're gonna intensify. And sisters and brothers, Sisters and brothers, let's consider it seriously. It's going to be up to you, no one else, to help recreate a struggle that is not only pushed forward in the spirit of militancy and defiance, which is how all struggles who won anything have won. Let us make sure 
that there's no dichotomy between the struggle against the war abroad and the struggle against the war at home. Let us make sure that we feel comfortable talking about workers' rights even when we're talking about get out of Iraq and Afghanistan. Let us make sure that when we're talking about bringing the troops home, we're talking about getting racist cops out of communities of color. If you do this, if you do this, there's a chance if we're serious and united that we're going to make great gains for progressive and revolutionary struggle, not only in this country, but around the world. Power to the people! Yeah.